This drama keeps going and going and going and going, but hopefully with this video, it'll come to a stop. Queen posted a video telling her side of the story and it looks like Clarence's ex isn't done with her side. Leslie Ines uploaded a video called My Last Response with Receipts. And that's what I've been asking for. I need proof to understand her side of the story. Cause right now from what it looks like, she just seems emotional. I can't go off of emotions. Show me proof, paper, text messages pictures something to go off of it says she's got receipts so we're gonna go ahead and jump right to it are y'all ready to react because i am let's get it let's see let's see let's see let's see hey guys welcome back to my channel it's leslie here um I okay she's looking a little different today let's go to her channel real quick because i don't know why she's dressing down on this video it seems a little bit strange to me, only because she's been showing us something different. So let's go ahead and go to her channel. So I can better explain to y'all what I'm talking about. So in all her videos, she's, she's revealing a lot of her body. She's showing a lot of skin. She's showing thighs. She's showing cleavage. She's showing stomach. She's showing shoulders. And if that's her style, girl, by all means, do you. You're a very pretty girl. But why this video, she's got a hooded sweater on? That confuses me a little bit. And the reason why I find it even more odd is because Queen, in her video, she doesn't really show too much. So I don't know if Leslie is going off of her video. She's like, okay, Queen looks innocent. Let me, let me try to look a little bit more innocent with my video. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the girl. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it. But do y'all blame me? This video, she's looking different. All right, let's go ahead and watch. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Leslie here. Um, I tried to do a reaction to Queen's side of the story. Mm -hmm. And I found myself not, not interested in what she had to say, but I feel like everything is redundant at this point. Yeah. And like I lost my mojo to even talk about it anymore because I feel like I addressed it enough and I feel like at this point, it would just be me defending my emotions. True. Here I am, feeling that exact way like I have to do. And maybe I should have uh, addressed this a long time ago. Probably right after I did yes. that reaction video. Because I, know, I knew people were going to misconstrue my emotions and misinterpret my, me crying. The truth is, guys, I did respond to that book. And it wasn't for Clarence, nor was it about him. It was about me because the book was talking about me. Right. And it was tarnishing my name. If your name is being thrown out there, girl, you have the right to say whatever you want. I loved Clarence, and that's known. Like, I've never hit that. But that chapter in my life is closed. Like... I hope so. It's been three years now, and I've grown to be the woman that I am today because of that. Like, yes, I am over that situation. It's not all about Clarence. It's not all about, do I want him more? I want him back or anything like that. It, the truth is, I had to relive that moment just for 30, 30 minutes. And yeah, I got emotional and, and I was crying, but my tears aren't for Clarence. They aren't about you. Then what is They're it? They're about my true feelings of my story. Like, they, I wasn't sugarcoated. Girl, no. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. You just don't like the fact that you still feel for him. When you forgive people and you grow from it, you don't get as emotional the way you did. Because you broke down, girl. You broke down as if it just happened yesterday. There's something that you're not over. And I don't know if it's necessarily Clarence himself. It could just be the fact that you wanted to have a family. You wanted a child with the person that you love. And, they, and anybody could have fit those shoes, not just Clarence, you know? And maybe that was something that she looked at. It's like, damn, like, my ex has a whole family. Something that, I, I've, that I've always wanted, that I don't have at the moment. And maybe that's what made you cry so much? I don't know. I don't know. But girl, you went over something. Or anything like that. That's just how I expressed it. 
and it's in human nature for me to respond the way I want to respond because I am who I am and I won't change for nobody and the truth is I don't owe anybody an explanation Sex. I don't owe anybody my story and I don't have to share that with nobody that's true I didn't even think that but you did I didn't think that it would go this far but it like took me on this course like I didn't know that it will get like this I swear I didn't even think that okay so either you're playing it down or you're a little slow because you know talking about two social media influencers that are very popular and one of them being a music artist signed to Capitol Records you think that it was not gonna be this big? Especially after all these years have passed and you have never said your story. You don't think it was gonna be big? Come on, girl. You're either dumb or you think we're dumb. Come on. I was gonna be on YouTube crying and everybody sees me weak and emotional. I didn't think any of that. And I didn't think twice about it to post or anything like that because it is the truth. It is what I felt at that moment. A lot of people are judging me and saying leave them alone they have a whole family now and whatever the case may be but i left them alone three years ago my fault for taking but you came back and you know <laughs> you came back though putting my focus on elsewhere but it is true at the end of the day if someone is for you they will be for you and no one can take that away yes. no, one can, no one can take that person away from you yes and I'd be damned if I go ahead and blame a person's actions on others because ultimately it's the person you're with who you're supposed to respect and represent, you know, as your woman, if the love is generally true. And I know that I got very emotional in my last video and I probably said things that I shouldn't have said and I should have just kept them to myself. Okay. And for that I sincerely apologize. Some things just doesn't have to be set out to the public. Please try to understand that I put myself in that moment again. I I relived that moment again and I didn't appreciate how Clarence was talking about me as if I didn't invest five years in him, as if we didn't have good times together and made it made it made it out to seem that our relationship was total toxic when that wasn't the case and that was, that's what the anger came from. The anger came from that. The anger came from uh, my business being out there to the world. Right. Like that's still weighing on me. Like I didn't appreciate that at all. And like I said, I didn't know that all of this a book was gonna do this. Uh, like I didn't think a book was gonna do this to me. I didn't think that I would respond the way that I responded. I was just acting off my true feelings and my true emotions. And I said what I said. Some things I shouldn't have said, but that's how I felt at that time. And if you guys don't understand it, and if you still don't get it, it is what it is. I don't have to prove to you guys that I... So what, so what, so what are you trying to say here? You don't have to prove anything to us, so are you really not going to show us receipts? <laughs> I'm here for it, okay? I want to see receipts. I don't want him, and I'm over him. I don't have to do <laughs> none of that, neither. You guys could think whatever you want. Like... Him and I know our story, and I'm pretty sure he knows that I've moved on, and I've never tried to get my relationship back with him. Like, I've never tried to do any of that. Um, I will say this. I knew that our relationship was pretty much done when all the videos were coming out. Like, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to hold on to, oh, my God, they're making videos. Um... Um, I still have a chance, and I'm watching them, and there's still a chance that I'm going to be there, whatever. And some girls that, are like that. That the case. Like, I already knew my relationship with Clarence was done. Done. But that was going to take its course, too. I knew where that was headed. In any case, we we were still, I don't, I don't want to say we were cool, but we just, we just kept our communication. I remember when he was trying to help me out with doing YouTube, and he was giving me advice and stuff like that. Um, and that was around the time that they were together. I want to say this was July. Jennifer, March, April, May, June, July. This, yeah, July. It was in July that okay. he was trying to help me out with my YouTube. Right after it, that's when I found out the news that she was having a baby. So it's only like 
it's human nature for me to respond the way I responded because that is how I felt at that moment. Right now, I don't feel that way, guys. I, I'm not <laughs> pissed off that they're yeah. together and they have a family and they're happy now. That is not me. I'm actually happy for him. Why do people wear necklaces like that? I mean, I get it. If someone gifted it for you, that's something different. But you really went out to the store and got a necklace with the letter L to wear. And I never understood that. I'm over that. That chapter is closed in my life. And I've moved on, you guys. I hope so. You I got a man or something? took this relationship as <laughs> learning experiences for me. That's another reason why I, I probably got very emotional. Because not only did I have to relive that moment, but I hold that experience with my ex um, very serious because and within those five years of my relationship, I learned so many things. I've learned so many lessons. Like life has definitely taught me so many things. And for that, I've, I will forever cherish it. When someone shows me the slightest sign of what I went through with Clarence, or anything that he did to me, I cut that person off real quick. I'm able to move on and not look back. Like I always think to myself, if I got over him, there's no way that I can't get over you. And that's the truth, you know? guys. That's how I move now. So for people to say, um, you still on him, you still want him, you're not over him, yada, 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 just because I got emotional, you guys are misinterpreting my feelings and my emotions in that video. In fact, I want the exact opposite of who he was. Damn, girl, like that? You had to text that shit in the video? And capitalize the word opposite of who he was? Damn, was Clarence that bad? Remember, you were with him for five years. He must have not been that bad. I'm not gonna explain myself anymore and I unless it was toxic I hope that this is the end of it all because I don't want when, when a relationship is toxic sometimes you're just blind to it you normalize it and you just keep going on with the relationship about that story no more people want to believe what they want to believe and they want to judge me and whatever the case may be to each his own you guys are gonna live my story you guys don't know what it feels like and that's the bottom line yeah thank you for your messages, for encouraging me, and for your prayers, because I've read those messages. I've even screenshotted some of them and saved them to my phone so I can look Aww. at them whenever I'm feeling down, you know? Because everybody get those moments. Like today is one gloomy ass day, and it's the time of the month, so I am in my bag. I'm <laughs> in my bag like I'm in my feelings and I'm hurt, and you know, like it's not that. Like I'm just, you know, reading the comments and the messages. I'm just like, yo, people are. They just don't get it, and they're never gonna get it. <laughs> but it's just, it's just absurd to me how people misinterpret things. And maybe it's because how I came off and stuff, but whatever, it is what it is. I, mean, I want to talk about my past, the shit is done. I, it's been three years later, and yes, it's made me who I am today, and it sucks that I have to relive that moment again, and it sucks that I have to talk about it again. I like, put that, that relationship in, a deep, 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 deep hole in the ground, and I didn't think that it would resurface, and I didn't think that I would have to ever talk about it again. You live and you learn, and that's in my Instagram bio, by the way, because it's true. You live and you learn. You don't. I'm not gonna hold on to things for the rest of my life. Like, I still love him. I still want to be him. I still have a chance. Guys, I'm older now. Like I'm not young. I'm older. I'm wise. How old is you? I'm not stupid. How old is you? I want to know. It. I'm not hung, hung up on somebody that has a family. I am not. You guys don't not. understand me because you guys are stuck on today and I get it. But when people try to diminish me and, and discredit my story, I am going to respond the way I respond and there's no sugarcoating it. With that being said, I just want to thank all of my supporters for your messages. I really appreciate that. I, I read the positive messages. The negative stuff, I try to stay away from it. Be ready Good. for my next videos you know yeah I re i'm really curious to know what kind of content you're going to be coming up with because so far you started your youtube channel off this drama and that was very smart that was a very smart move because you now have let's see 
Let's look back right now. You have 29,000 subscribers. You got that in, a, what was it, like a one or two weeks? I'm far from that. And I've been doing this shit for a year and a half on this channel. What the fuck? I need to create some drama. I need, I need to know somebody in the YouTube world just to start beef with. That's how you gain subscribers. I don't know nobody. It's just me, y'all. It's just me. Know me some more and get to know the woman that I am today, three years later. Okay? Um, okay. Just drop down some questions below. And also, comment what other content you'd like to see from me. I know I'm definitely going to share some story times. And I know I'm definitely going to put like some workouts in there. It's like I have a passion for fitness. That is one of the major things in my life that has helped me overcome a lot of things. Welcome back to me. Uh, and I was this? like, yo, um, what you said? I, I was basically telling him about what he said in the video. Like that was that was funny. Like Frank Red, Frank's Red Hot. Oh, I'm not sweet. He, you know, like just kind of, I don't know, picking at him about what he said. Obviously, at this point, if he's doing a smash pass on a bunch of girls. I didn't. I'm, I I just refused to do another video on it. But my point exactly. Just you could tell how I was moving and what I was doing. That you could tell that I was single. I don't want to throw other people's relation. I don't know if I'm smash queen. I don't know. <laughs> Did you say you were gonna smash? I don't know if I would put it out there. Smash it past. Come soon. Thank you guys for watching. Wait, what? I'm confused. Wait, what? I'm confused. I gotta rewind that back. I'm sorry. Back to me. And I was like, yo, um, what you said? I, I was basically telling him about what he said in the video. Like, that was that was funny. Like, Frank Red, Frank's Red Hot, oh, I'm not sweet. He, you know, like, just kind of, I don't know, picking at him about what he said. Obviously, at this point, if he's doing a smash pass on a bunch of girls. I didn't. I'm, I, I just refused to do another video on it, but my point exactly. Just you could tell how I was moving and what I was doing that you could tell that I was single. I don't want to throw other people's relations. I don't know if I'm- Smash queen. I don't know. <laughs> Did you say you were gonna smash I don't know if I would put it out there. I'm smash your past, come to soon. Okay, so she's basically so showing a clip from after that video of that smash your past. She's still in the basement with Clarence. Clarence got his shirt off and everything. And what was that? Uh, a picture of her in the basement on September 8th. 2017 this is when i believe clarence is talking to queen queen i don't know communicating with her and in that picture he's doing i believe the q a his very first video on youtube and she's there while he's filming in the basement did you say you were and <laughs> this bitch really did pull up receipts yo and that's her foot on his head in the basement looks like they're on the bed on november 27th 2017 and he was talking to queen during that time i don't know if i would put it out there it was smack. and that's december 8th 2017 blowing out his candles on his cake thank you Okay, look, I'm gonna say this. Just because you were around while he was talking to Queen does not mean that y'all were together still. He could have very much been single, still fucking you, and talking to Queen because he could, because he's single. He can do whatever he wants to do. He is not committed to anybody. Now, are you showing us these receipts because Queen believed that he really had no girl and he was telling her that he had no girl. So did Quinn really believe that there was no strings attached between y'all two? Maybe, maybe Clarence was making Queen believe that there was absolute, absolutely no type of romantic or intimacy happening between y'all two. And it looks pretty intimate. I ain't gonna lie to you, those pictures look like they're, they were still fucking. So <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna do to Clarence and Queen. By the end of the day, Clarence was not committed to Queen. They were still talking as friends and they were not committed. I'm pretty sure they might have a conversation about Clarence lying as if there was really nothing, absolutely nothing between him and Leslie at all. So maybe his lies is, a, is something they're gonna be talking about. But other than that, I don't see, I don't see no damage happening to that relationship. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on your notifications. See you guys. <laughs> 
So she hit us with those receipts at the very end of the video. She's like, pow, pow. Wow. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.